Hi everyone, I'm Brian from Electro, and I'd like to introduce Zaki Medina, Enablement and Training Advisor from Arduino. Zaki, how are you doing today? Oh, hey Brian, I'm doing great here. Uh, hello to everyone tuning in. I'm really excited to be hosting this upcoming webinar with the Elector team. We're focused on something that automation engineers really struggle with, is how do I go from kind of an idea, right, to something that could be actually live in production. And because we've all had these moments where a prototype looks great on your desk, but can it handle the factory floor? So that's what we're going to dive in using Arduino today. And I'm excited to see that. Zaki will be hosting an upcoming webinar that's all about scaling from prototype to production, which, as we all know, is where many good ideas hit the wall. So, Zaki, give us a quick overview. What is this webinar about and what kinds of challenges are you addressing? Uh, excellent question, Brian. We're actually focusing on real world problems that automation and process engineers run into every day. Let's say your team builds a fast prototype, but the hardware isn't ruggedized enough to, for factory deployment. Or maybe your system works fine, but can't easily connect to the cloud, right? That's a big thing is how do I deal with that data that's trapped in my, you know, in my production lines and so on and take it into the cloud for processing, for insight and so on. Worse, if we're working on a lab, how do I roll it out into the field and make sure I've got all the things, bells and whistles figured out before I deploy it? into production. So this webinar is really going to break down these friction points and show how Arduino, yes, Arduino today with our new Arduino Pro portfolio within the uh, Opta ecosystem, as well as the Portenta machine control can provide a fully industrial ready ecosystem that helps you from idea to installation. And that's quite a wide range of topics. So who will benefit most from this webinar? So essentially what we think is number one, definitely going to be folks that work in the industrial space today, right? In the industrial automation phase. So you have control engineers, process engineers that do a bit of, uh, may have used Arduino, you know, in their fourth year engineering projects, but want to use Arduino in the industrial settings. They're going to really benefit from this. At the same time, we have folks that are reskilling and, and coming in uh, into industrial automation. They're looking for their first PLC, first experience on industrial automation. They want to learn using a very cost-effective, uh, you know, uh, tool set. That's where Arduino can come in as well. So there's really two. There would be the existing folks that work in industrial automation. There's the folks that are learning how to build things in the industrial automation space. And then probably the fourth is the innovator, you know, startups that are looking to build new and wonderful products and, uh, and innovations into that industrial space today. They could leverage Arduino for very quick prototyping pilot, as well as, uh, you know, production level, uh, you know, installations as well. So let's talk about the Arduino Pro line. What makes it suitable for industrial development? How does it help overcome common issues like integration delays, cloud connectivity gaps, and reliability in the field? That's a great question. So let's start with kind of what's at the heart of it. Within our industrial automation portfolio, the Arduino Opta, as well as the Portenta machine control, we have the same MCU, uh, the STM32747, which is a battle-hardened MCU for industrial workloads. Think of it having two brains, an M7 and an M4, that can run both higher programming languages like C++, which is Arduino Sketch and MicroPython, at the same time, traditional IEC PLC languages like Ladder Diagram, as well as Structure Text. So we've been able to bring in two different programming paradigms into one device. Now we wrap this device up, our Opta, with DIN rail mountable, CE certified. It speaks several different uh, industrial control networking protocols like Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, MQTT, so it could function as an IoT uh, a device as well, as well as we have libraries for uh, OPC UA as well. Now with the Portenta machine control, you can also bring on can open as well. And both the devices can handle 24 by seven uptime like a champ. In fact, there was a question around reliability. The Opta has an MTBF of 87 years that we have a, a study around. So this is really kind of the guts of how we can go in and build uh, you know, using the pro line. At the same time, yes, the Opta has eight IOs, but then we have a number of expansion modules, both analog and digital, where you can add more IOs, up to 88 IOs, 
you know, and, and, and basically you can uh, build something and simply add to it. So that adds to the scalability. And then when it comes to the cloud integration component, we've also made that simple. You can use Arduino cloud to get started very quickly to build your quick dashboards, alert, remote control, really ideal for small prototypes, small sites or pilot projects, or go straight to AWS IoT core if you're working in a larger industry 4.0 or IoT installation where you require multi-tenancy and so on. We actually have a recent workshop that we launched in collaboration with AWS uh, and, and the Arduino team on how IoT, AWS IoT core integrates with uh, the Opta ecosystem. So again, you're not stuck choosing between different types of devices you could build everything within the Opta and the Portent Emission Control environment uh, using the Arduino Pro portfolio. Okay, let's talk real world here. We've all had something work fine on the bench and then fall over in the factory. <laughs> How is Arduino helping close that gap between lab success and real world deployment? That's an excellent question and totally relatable. What we focused our energy is to really unlock all the lessons, learns, and insights from our past Opta production deployments, right? So if you go today, we've actually compiled a huge library of Arduino tutorials and industry-specific examples from setting up your first uh, ladder logic program to integrating uh, home automation, you know, conveyor systems, uh, you know, predictive maintenance at the edge AI, all uh, that's available to you today within docs.arduino.cc. So you can get started in minutes and scale without reinventing the wheel. And, you know, here's another sneak peek. When the time we launch this webinar and we go through it, there will be a new Opta-based solution around condition monitoring. And that's going to be a sneak peek. And we'll be one of the first, this webinar will be one of the first places where we talk a bit about how that condition monitoring solution using Opta can transform and make it really easy uh, to bring in vibration and temperature sensors, real-time processing, edge processing, as well as cloud, uh, all packaged and production ready. No custom firmware, no glued together systems, just something you can drop into a factory setting or industrial setting and start using. Well, great. Thanks so much, Zaki Medina, Enablement and Training Advisor from Arduino, for taking the time out to tell us about this upcoming webinar. Absolutely, Brian. Can't wait. Well, thank you very much, Zaki Medina, Enablement and Training Advisor from Arduino, for taking the time to tell us about this upcoming webinar. Uh, absolutely, Brian, and can't wait for everyone to register and uh, you know to see you on the see you on the webinar. Great. So, if you're working in automation or even just want to get beyond the breadboard, this webinar called. How to use Arduino to go beyond prototyping in industrial automation is going to be worth your time. So register now, and if you can't make it live, you'll get the recording afterwards.